I'm gonna do a little something on my truck today and this is that big F-250 it's the one with the 460 motor in it and currently the problem we're having right now is this truck is really lagging bad so um, it's the one that's got 60,000 a little over 60,000 miles on it so we're gonna take this little truck and we're gonna we're gonna do some work on it I have to get underneath it and we're gonna cut to that video here pretty quick but what I've done with this truck is I've kind of sort of souped it up a little bit and now we're going to do the muffler on it to improve it and I'll speak a few techniques on it let's see what we get on how to remove and swap out a muffler okay from a 97 Ford F-250 with the big 460 motor in it and I've got my sidekick Jess that came up from Nevada to come help me so I got a kit from Summit and these are the parts as you'll see laying out here kind of self-explanatory they're not uh, rocket science on how you're gonna deal with it now this is a three inch system replacing the factory two and a half now that's two and a half however it's got a uh, resonator around it so what I've got here is a cutaway where we have cut away right here at the catalytic converter and pulled away all of these materials here and I split the existing pipe piece that's on it okay and what's going into this is a two and a half and you can see the model number there if I can get it on there that's the model number of this of this fitting that's on it right now and these Ford catalytic converters for the large engines like the 460 um, this catalytic converter has been serviced um, to be more functional so now that and the oxygen sensor has a tab in front of it makes them work better so what you got here is you got this fitting that's like this reducer fitting except it is for two and a half inch pipe uh, bell to fit in it and it is the perfect size to fit up inside of this because it is an odd size this is actually about two and three quarter inch pipe and this fitting here if you'll look on that adapter fitting number right there which is SCJ01C01 that fitting right there is the one you're going to use it will hammer right up inside of here and you'll remove where your old clamp was where this clamp here was you'll cut it away and, and it's got plenty of room going up in here and you'll hammer that up in there it doesn't reduce your flow because you were going into a two and a half inch immediate reduction and now you've got um, two and a half inch is still there all the same and goes immediately into three inch so this is all three inch coming out and the mufflers hanging uh, you will find on the side of your muffler there is the hangers that are on the side they will be able to be bent back in to mount this muffler which is right here which is just a straight through muffler uh, with no real heavy baffling in it you will cut away and you see up in here this part right up here those two uh, hangers right there and you're going to weld you a flat piece across when you weld that flat piece across it'll allow you to use one of those little small hangers that'll hook up to your clamp and same way in the back cut this muffler completely out right here and you can see that's an odd size it's a resonator it's got crap in it and it may be really restrict the hell out of your flow and it is immediately goes to a pair of I guess inch and a half OD pipes and they're very restrictive and you'll see this hot spot right here on the on the muffler this is where the muffler coll collapsed inside and that's why it's being replaced and upgraded all right so I'll walk you through you see the other side where it's a hot spot too this muffler really went out part of the installation is going to require you to do some cutting because this kit is designed to fit a lot of vehicles uh, so the reason that you're going to be doing the cutting is every vehicle is different so they give you a lot longer lengths like in this case this is the one that comes out of the muffler and goes up over the axle so in, in my case I do not need that much so I've got a quarter band 
and Jess is over here holding it still and we are going to uh, trim up this and grind it to clean it and I'll show you the next step here. So by cutting that piece off I have the muffler mounted here. I don't know if you can see that very well but and this will allow me now to turn to go around to go around my shock and all my other uh, items and brake lines and everything to keep them out of the way so it's not going to be hitting anything it's got three inches of clearance and two inches from my shock which it's a stationary item will not move other than up and down or it's an, it's an item that will only move up and down and not over any so that is the reason that this is made every bit of the pieces that you're going to find in your kit will be generally longer longer than what you're going to need now that's the reason for that is because you might have a short bed truck you might have a long bed truck and like in my case i have an extended cab truck but if i had a four-door truck well this would probably be right on the money so now this piece here is the this piece here goes up and over your axle and i went ahead and slipped a clamp on it now i clamp these but i also weld them later after i check them out i will weld them shut um but this way going up inside here I can now fit this piece in place and as you'll see here it has cleared everything and there's nothing that it's touching or near and here's the original hanger back here that I just ground off and using a cutter wheel now my spare tire is right here near this but this is able to turn and this piece here and this piece here might even need to be cut you know shorter so if you have a four-wheel drive this is not a four-wheel drive truck my other one is but this is not if you have a four-wheel drive then you might not need to cut any length dip, uh, out of this section but this now allows me to spin this whole piece and in my case this is going to be the completion um, piece that will be put in and it clears the back tire by about seven and a half inches and I'm going to put a specialized tip on it so you might be able to see that that's at the uh, end of the truck here coming out towards the end here and there's the tires there so I will not actually need this other that is for coming out the rear end and I'm going to use this one and it'll do that job all right I'll get you a final on it and we'll fire the truck up tighten everything down and you make these to where you can use your original hanger positions and add something to them if you need to and they work fine this is a hundred dollar kit put a three inch exhaust in a Ford or a Dodge or a Chevrolet or whatever you got works great all right now coming from the end of the catalytic converter as you can see I just threw some spot welds in there to keep things from rotating around new standard clamps and down here I did the same thing now this is stainless and it will not weld but to keep this from rotating on you, you can just burn a spot and it'll burn a little nick in the stainless and keep it from moving. Weld it on um, the original hanger onto the muffler. This is the thick spot of the, of the end of the muffler. Another clamp there. And then going up, using those multiple pieces, you're able to configure them and keep swinging them around. You can get close to your shock, but you can't be close to your axle because the axle travels. And the shock, although it travels, it just travels straight up and down pretty much. And so if you got a good inch and a quarter, inch and a half of clearance from your shock like I do, you're fine. Um, just look at where your bump stops um, go in on your truck for, like in my case, I've got three and a half inches of travel on my bump stops. And then for me, I gave myself three and a half inches of clearance away from my axle. So equal that to the bump stop plus a little bit. Coming out here on the end, I ended up with, uh, they put plenty of parts inside these kits, so I ended up with a full length left over on my truck, and this was for using in a different setup, they send it all, they send, using it for a different setup, they send all the parts with it, buying extra fittings, when you start tearing out, you want to make sure you have extra fittings, I actually used one of those fittings 
and a short piece of three inch pipe to make my muffler exit right here and I got a lot of brushing and wire brushing cleanup to do but I actually used it cut it spot welded it until it was a solid weld on front and back and that's from this where I just cut it away and made a coupling for my pipe and this is the end end product doesn't quite shoot out from the truck so they're straight down and then there's just underneath the edge just so it sheets under the edge there make sure when you go behind your tire you do not want to be within four inches of your tire so in my case I am five and a half inches away from my tire and it's very well supported now this one has four hangers on it it has the initial hanger that's up here on the catalytic converter for that manifold it has the hanger on the muffler it has one right behind it and you'll see because my muffler did not follow the same identical path I took and put a piece of a uh, perforated angle and then connected and welded on a hanger trimmed it off and put a bolt in it and then just hit it with a little spot of weld on that bolt to keep that nut from backing out so this is a complete job the total cost was around 135 bucks so you can order the kit from Amazon or eBay uh, via Summit Racing and you can get it for like $110 delivered for the three inch, $98 for the two and a half. Um, this muffler is, is quite simple. Um, it's heavy gauge. Basically, I'm gonna hit this whole thing with barbecue pit paint here to, uh, after I brush it up and make it prettier. Um, very hard to get that to weld, even though I cleaned that spot first. It was just this old iron here did not want to take weld good, even though I brushed it clean. So that's a burly looking weld, but very solid now. Let me quickly show you why that other muffler came out. It was only blowing out one side, which was a, which is a inch and a half inch pipe. That's all it was blowing out was an inch and a half inch pipe. And it was only coming out one side. Here's the reason behind that. It had burnt through and collapsed internally inside the muffler. Now for a truck that's a 1997 model truck with only 60,000 miles on it, this is to be expected because the previous owner was an old man, he didn't drive it much. And this resonator that had that coil in it, which is kind of rare, I don't, some, I don't see all of them have the coils in them, but it had the little sheet metal coil in it, completely collapsed and shot into the muffler. This truck was not running well. I have reconnected the battery. I will never weld on a vehicle with a battery attached. So I reconnected the battery so we can do a fire up of this truck. And you will see. I'll run. Big difference. Here, I'll turn these lights on here. You can see the mileage on this truck is now at 63,000. Uh, 546 miles so not too bad and I think it's got a pretty sweet sound now right anime <laughs> pretty good sound now and compared to the way it was it sounded like a Toyota so now it is quite impressive my fuel economy was being 10.7 when we gauged it and the thing is is that it's got a few things like you know it light out and uh, it's got the little thing like the timer don't go off on the lights it's got miscellaneous small issues but for a truck that spent most of its life up in a uh, up inside of a uh, carport or garage it's in pretty good shape interior still looks like a brand new truck so not bad and now she's gonna run better and get a lot better fuel economy so that's the muffler system on it. I'll get a view from this side, okay? And you can see, I retained the original catalytic converter. And what I did is I drilled a hole right there that I could weld shut right there in front of the flange. And by taking that hole and drilling it in front of the flange, I was able to spray in literally WD-40 into it just saturate a little bit of WD-40 this thing not while it was running uh, spray a little WD-40 or Varisol if you can get your hands on some Varisol and pretty much close to the same and what I did is I sprayed some in and then I let it sit for a minute turn, turn the tube back towards the catalytic converter 
and sprayed it in there and saturated the face of the converter where the, the uh, uh, converter material is at. And then I let set a little bit, and then I fired the engine up, run the hell out of it without this exhaust, new exhaust hooked up to it, and it blew out some serious soot and black and cleaned out the catalytic converter. So now it's in premium shape. It's back to new condition. And we have now placed this whole muffler up and out. So it's going to be a lot better than it was. The, the cost of doing this yourself is actually very cheap. It's not very expensive to do. And you don't require any special skills. I mean, if you can spot weld, you can do it. But I recommend exactly that. You know, throw you some spot welds on it because you don't want your stuff moving around on you while you're setting it up. And that's the only reason there's spot welds on it. So if you have any questions about it, you're going to get it in a large box like this. It says Flowmaster on it. And it's pretty good gauge because I, I, I put the welder on pretty high temperature and it did a fine job. And I got a few parts left. All right. Pretty simple muffler job for under 150 bucks. You can do it yourself. Taking it out on the road and on an uphill climb. From a standstill, this truck was powerful, but quite sluggish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out what we've got here now in speed. So you can basically do this and time it yourself. And remember, I'm a little on uphill climb. Too bad. I think uh, successful muffler work. 